This is US Based TV. I'm Zenas. Our main headlines High security alert at the University of Health and Allied Science after a student was robbed at knife point along the Trafalgar Devil Road. Senior Staff Association of Universities of Ghana have suspended their strike action after an injunction was secured by the National Labor Commission. Parliament suspends sitting for three weeks over a rising number of COVID-19 infections in the house. One new case of Ebola has been discovered in the Democratic Republic of Congo nearly three months after no new infections. We have all the details coming up shortly. Parliament has been suspended for three weeks as COVID-19 cases in the house rises. The Speaker, Alban Babin, announced on Tuesday, February 9th, that the decision was reached after 17 MPs and 151 parliamentarians tested positive for the virus. The Speaker said it will curb the spread, protect other members from catching the virus, and give those with the virus a chance to recover. As part of measures to curb the spread of the virus in Parliament, the Speaker added that all MPs and parliamentary staff are to resubmit themselves for two weeks' testing from tomorrow. The House has also instituted measures to conduct parliamentary sessions twice a week with only a third of MPs allowed in the chamber. The rest were to participate virtually. Honorable members, having regard to the upsurge of the coronavirus infection in the House, now reading 17 members of Parliament, and 151 staff and ancillary workers in the presence of parliament. And the fact that the appointment committee is yet to commence consideration of His Excellency the President's ministerial nominees, I have, in consultation with leadership, decided that the sitting of the House be suspended for three weeks. Members of the Senior Staff Association of the Universities of Ghana have ended an industrial strike against the government. This comes after an injunction was secured at the Accra High Court by the National Labor Commission. The court ordered the association to call off a strike and for its members to return to their various working posts. The injunction from the court ordered the association to go back to the negotiating table with the various stakeholders to discuss matters on better working conditions. The association is demanding the payment of non-basic allowance tier 2 pension contribution arrears. The Student Representative Council of Yo has last Monday communicated to his students to stop using the Trafalgar Diver stretch at night. This has become necessary as one student was attacked at ninth point on the said stretch. In an earlier message from the SRC, it indicated that there had been an elaborate consultation with security personnel to patrol the stretch to ward off such criminals from perpetrating such acts. The presence of the SRC further directed students not to board any car containing only men plying the stretch, as this may pose a grave danger to students. Our new team spoke with some students who expressed their views. Um, of late, we've had a number of um, cases of um, you have students being attacked on the Dave Trafalgar um, route. And this, uh, this has been an issue for us. It has caused a lot of insecurity among students. And this is as a result of we the students using the road at late hours. You usually come for lectures at um, Dave and during the day the place is always um, crowded. So the only time we are free to use the lecture halls for our uh, personal studies is in the, in the night. So and after the studies, we usually close around 10 to 11 p.m. And by the time we close, when we get to the main road, we don't usually get keke or taxis. And the only options we have are the the only option we have is to walk. And during this walking, we usually meet people around, and they, they, they tend to attack us and take our things. So lately, there have been attacks around the Trafalgar Dave Road. Unfortunately, one of our students was in that situation but the life was secured because he ran away but his items were taken off so they should work in pairs and in groups and it's on the part of the school to also make the police patrol team available during the nail night and i hope this will help the school in terms of their security from trafalgar way down to Dave, there are no security personnel 
and the lights are either dim or not functioning at all and it makes walking on the streets very difficult for us especially we the ladies our lights are more activated so we'll be very glad if something is done about a new case of Ebola has been identified in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo, according to the country's Ministry of Health. A woman was found with a sentence on the 1st of February but died two days later. The husband of the woman is said to be one of the survivors of the previous outbreak that lasted for nearly a year and killed over 2,000 people in the country. The ministry says more, more than 70 contacts have since been traced and places suspected to be visited by the woman have been disinfected. Samples have been taken to the capital to confirm the linkage to the previous outbreak. In a tweet, the World Health Organization said they have teams on their ground. Well, this marks the country's 12th outbreak since it was first discovered near the Ebola River in 1976. It comes nearly three months after Congo announced the end to its 11th outbreak. Well, that is how we end today's edition of the news at 6. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at SRC. And don't forget to subscribe here at Viewers Based Television. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.